What is up guys, Cleef101 here, and today I am bringing you episode 28 of Road to Remake. Now you might be wondering why I'm just running around a little bit from the last episode. This is because I need to have at least 3,000 gil to be able to get into the next part of the, air of the game. I need 3,000 gil to purchase a gold saucer ticket, just a normal entry ticket. Um, you can get a permanent gold pass for 30,000, but obviously I'm very far away from that. So at the moment, I just need to build up enough funds to be able to get to the 3,000 so that I can actually get into the next part of the game. So you have to bear with me as we do this. This particular um, sitting will probably take two episodes, I would imagine. I might sit down and do it a little bit more. We'll, we'll see how we go. But look, one battle down. I'll only need one more to go. And then we're good to rock. Now the next part of the game, which is the gold saucer, which I was talking about, is probably the best area within the game and is probably the one area of the game that I'm most looking forward to with the remake in regards to how they actually convey it. I say this because, well, for those that don't know about it, we'll, I'll wait. I'll wait to show you because it needs to be seen to be believed. It's a fantastic area. <laughs> Oh, Tifa, nice. Haven't used this little break for a while. Believe Smash! Okay. Alright, well, that's that one done. There we go, that should give me enough gill to be able to progress. And. A sneaky level. There we go, perfect. Now before we move on, I'm just going to use one of these, because I cannot remember if at any stage I I uh, get a chance to be able to rest in this particular area. So, story development time. Oh, no I don't have you yet. Oh, uh, that's cool. So this is a um, story plot developing Barrett within the game and I, I tell you right now things are about to get pretty deep um, <laughs> to say the least. So this is the town of Coral. Which the gold saucer is built on top of. This is kind of where you learn where Barrett gets his hatred for Shinra and why it is so strong. And this is his friend, Dine. I'm giving you a chance to read everything because this is actually like in terms of character development, it is a massive plot point for Barrett himself. And Barrett's a pretty cool character. He's probably one of the better characters and one of the stronger characters early game. Um, as well as the most stereotypical. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> How good are the graphics so? Chuck in a background scene and just chuck a fire in the foreground and make it look like it's burning. <laughs> So basically, in a nutshell, 
um, Coral was a coal mining town and everyone within the town including Barrett um, but except for his best friend Dine uh, was was okay with the push to have a Marco reactor built because it was going to be the next thing for energy you know it's 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 the Shinra electric company that's what they're called and um, there was a problem within the reactor that Shinra blamed the, the the town saying that it was like a terrorist sort of attack which in actuality it was it was the original avalanche that actually did it um, because th there is an avalanche before the current one wow that got really loud I'll wait to so you guys can see the intro to this this is the first time that we come to the gold saucer and you can see just what kind of place that this is It's effectively a theme park. Now you'll see in the background there that there is a save point. I cannot use that. It uses GP, which is like gold saucer currency. The gold saucer itself uses its own currency. Um, which I don't have yet. So I cannot save it here. See, GP. There you go. The GP limit is 10,000. Now it is actually quite difficult to get that limit even when later on in the game. <laughs> oh, Aerith, you naive little girl. I in a cheery mood, just leave me alone. <laughs> We're gonna go play now. So go fucking play! <laughs> <laughs> Funny. Bye. I think he's mad. <laughs> Now, I want to choose Road 13 here, because if I choose any of the girls here, um, that increases their points, and I don't want to do that. So the first place that I want to go is the Wonder Square, and this is where we are going to go get our next character. This is Kate Sis, a fortune-telling doll cat thing that rides on the back of a giant moogle. That is his character's description. It's kind of weird. But, alas, we have a better name for this character. A name so embellished with royalty and pride that we must give it to the moogle riding cat. Oh my god, I even spelled that wrong, didn't I? Oh, Glog. <laughs> I wasn't even paying attention. I'm so sorry, Oh, Glog. <laughs> well, if anything. <laughs> uh, Alright, well, in case if there's now known as Oh, Glog for you. <laughs> That's the title of the episode right there. We introduce you to Oglog. Yeah. Oh, that's so funny. 
Oh well, a silly name gets a silly spelling. <laughs> As you can see, he's not a particularly good. Uh, he's not a particularly good fortune teller. Although this particular one here comes true. What the? What you pursue will be yours, but you will lose something dear. It's a bit of a preclude as to what is coming. But, again, for those that have never played this game and are watching this for the first time, I will not reveal what that is alluding to. And for those that do know, please shut up. <laughs> don't, don't put it in the comments. <laughs> and there we go. We've got our next character. That's why we could only take one character um, into the, into the, you know, this area. It's because we were getting another one. Now, I'm just going to skip over the gold saucer. I will be coming back here very, very shortly to collect some stuff. But right now, that's all I need to do here. I will show you the other areas of the gold saucer very soon. Um, probably within about 20 episodes, I would imagine. It depends on how quickly I can get through the next phases of the game. We've got... I do want to go to Gongaga, I want to go, so there's Cosmic Canyon, Cosmic Canyon itself will probably take two episodes, Gongaga one, um, we need to go back to Junon as well, that'll probably take an episode, um, Cosmic Canyon, then Nibelheim, Nibelheim I'm imagining will take two or three episodes, then we've got Rocket Town which will probably take two episodes, Plus all the travelling in between might take one episode and then once that's done, so once we've done Rocket Town, uh, so we might be able to do it in under 10 episodes actually. So that like first part of the game takes forever, it's, and that's, that's the longest part of the game. Like, it took us what, 20 episodes to get away from Junon, so, which is the first continent. The second continent is much smoother and faster paced, so that's good. <laughs> What's really disappointing is you never get to fight these. I would have really liked to have, have fought them in an actual battle, maybe in the battle arena at a later stage, because they've got their own rendered bodies like in game I would have loved to have just seen what they were capable of and how they could beat me into submission but we never get to see that so that's kind of sucks oh well okay so coming into the next phase of the game I'm pretty sure there is a save point very close by and I hope that I don't get into a random battle in between because we are becoming to the end of the episode. Ooh, Barrett. So with that in mind, provided that we don't get into any random battles, I would like to say thank you for watching the video guys, it's been episode 28, we are moving along steadily within the story and it's been fantastic having you along the ride with me. Oh glog. <laughs> Funny. Uh, yeah, there's a save point there. I'm just going to put no battles on so that I don't get into a battle because I cannot afford the time. So I'm going to save it here, guys. Thank you very much for watching. The next episode will be very, very involved. So stick with me as we move on to that episode. I'm Clay 101 and see you guys later. Bye.